longer V1 laser, 30 watt. Use it quite a bit, done a lot of work with it. Excellent machine. Well, I've been waiting for this. Here's a 40 watt head. So we're gonna go from 30 watt to 40 watt. So I'll tell you a little bit about this. This is something brand new. This is an upgrade you can do, or you can purchase the entire unit as a 40 watt if you wish. But if you already have the B1 as a 30 watt, and you wish to upgrade to the 40 watt, I'll show you how to do it here shortly. It's going to be very, very simple. So what are some of the specs here? And I had to print this out because I couldn't keep, I couldn't remember it. It's uh, got eight laser beams combined. The spot size of 0.10 by 0.15 millimeter. So that's a pretty small spot size for a laser of this power. Uh, it can cut through a single layer of 20 millimeter poplar. 9 millimeter bamboo, 0.15 millimeter stainless steel sheet with multiple passes and cut through 40 millimeter poplar, 50 millimeter black acrylic, and 30 millimeter pine. So that's got some pretty good power to it. So I'm going to get you in close here. We'll put this thing on. I'll get it put back on its baseboard and my layout board will get this set up and we'll see how this works. Swapping this is going to be pretty simple. So we're going to loosen up our thumb screw here, we'll slide the laser head all the way up and out. So you see in the back here you have your, your plug, you're going to need to unplug that. And then you have to take your uh, air assist loose. And to do that, push down on the little blue sleeve there and the hose will pop right out. And, boy, I need to clean that. The, I, the lens is clean because I run my air assist all the time, but as you can see, that's pretty dirty there. It's had a lot of use. So we'll set that off to the side there a minute. Grab my cord here again. And this is keyed. It only goes in one way. You'll see you've got these two little slots here. You'll have the same thing on your plug here. So we'll just plug that in. Route the cable back through the little cutout at the top. I'll take my air assist hose, run it back down through the loop there. Just push it back down in there. Whoop. And it'll lock itself. So then it's just a matter of putting it back on the laser. So now I need to get my baseboard set back up here and get the power supply and my air assist pump. We'll play with this a bit. Okay, ready to rock and roll here. I, I have not run the laser itself yet. I just, uh, I framed out where this is going to be. This is a scrap eighth inch plywood. Uh, one of the things I do with every laser, the laser is run a uh, power scale grid, an eighth inch plywood just to see what it'll do. So we'll get this started. And you focus this the same way you do the 30 watt head. It has a little kickstand on the side. You just drop down. Look at that 40 watt head. That numbers might burn all the way through. Well, we'll see here. And the air assist comes on automatically. Yep, she's running and she's blowing. And yes, I do have the doors open, so yes, it makes smoke. Now this test grid can be used for any material, not just 8 inch plywood. You can use it on anything if you're going to be doing cutting and generally if you're going to have a higher powered laser like this you're not in it for the engraving you're in it for the cutting so this uh, demonstration is going to be cutting some different materials runtime on this uh, little grid here is about 12 minutes and i do see i need to back off the power a little bit for my text on the uh, top and sides because it almost burned all the way through on this 8th inch plywood. Now just giving a preliminary look here, if you were running 100% power, you could cut this 8th inch plywood at 1200 millimeters per minute. And it looks like uh, getting down to 80%, wow, now the head's in the way, I can't see again. But at uh, 70% power, you could cut at, it's like 900 millimeters per minute. I've got my goggles on, so it's a little bit hard to have my bifocals work through the lens on here. 
These are all single pass cuts on these on this test grid, by the way. Uh, there's no multiple uh, runs on the same spot. All single pass cuts. Okay, it's completed. We'll take a look here. Uh, what I do is just what falls out. Well, there's one there. There's another one there. It's about to fall out. And so, well, there's a lot of those that are about to fall out. Here's a, a look at the back side here. This is where I was saying I got to cut power down on my tax. But we got a couple here that are just ready to fall out. And then some that are just cut like almost, but didn't quite get through. So we don't count those. So here's our grid on eighth inch plywood. Like I said, if you want to run 100% power, you could go at 1200 millimeters per minute. That's cooking right along and it would really reduce your uh, surface scorching. You can see we got some scorching up here because that's too much power for the speed for the text. So now let's uh, amp it up a little bit. I'm going to put something in here that's hard to cut. And that is half inch plywood. In case you're new to one of these, to set the focus. You loosen your little thumb screw up here. Raise the head, drop that little kickstand right there. Put it down on the work. Tighten the thumb screw back up. And don't forget to put this back up, because that'll mess you up if you don't. I'm going to throw this. This is a piece of marine plywood here, so this is going to be a little tough to cut. I want to see how it'll do on it. That's set up. Send the laser home. And I'm going to frame this, make sure I'm on my scrap of wood here. I'm going to run exactly the same grid again. I have my framing speed set somewhat slow, so if I need to move something, I can do it while it's still framing. You can speed that up in light burn. I am using light burn, by the way. So we'll just start this one. Again, I need to back off my power on the text for these uh, higher powered lasers. When I originally made this test grid, it was for 10 watt lasers, not uh, 30 or 40 watt. Okay, so as you can see, things got a little hot, hot there. as so we got into the slower speeds there. See what cut through. And it looks like uh, the only one that really cut through without burning everything up is that uh, 100 millimeters per minute, possibly 200. Again, this was single pass. Yeah, that pushed those push out. But these here, as you can see, those actually caught fire while they were cutting. That one's close at 100% at 200 millimeters per minute. And as I said, that it's not linear, so the 300 millimeters per minute at 100% did not cut it. It did uh, leave some marks on the back, but it did not cut through. This is three quarter inch pine. Uh, I'm going to make a three quarter, three quarter inch square cut, and I'm using 500 millimeters per minute at 100% power and three passes, and we'll see if it does it. Not quite. Let's try four passes. Judging by the amount of smoke coming out of the honeycomb board, I believe this did it. Ah, mighty close. So I guess we'll have to go with five passes. Yep, clean cut. Oh, I spread some soot around there, but this will give you an idea of what the, your edges are going to look like. Generally, when I'm cutting things out of three quarter, I'm using a scroll saw, but uh, it can be done with this. Okay, so let's say you want to do engraving, you know, well, how precise can this be? Well, I've got a butterfly mandala, 
that I am going to engrave here at 3,000 millimeters per minute and at 50% power. So there you are, and as you can see, it has very, very good detail. Try to zoom in here a little better. The detail is excellent. Well, just for fun, how about a speed test? 30,000 millimeters per minute, 90% power. Okay, I had a sudden stop. As you can see, it was doing it, but the message I got was it says connection lost. It says that the USB connection was dropped. So I'm going to try this again. It could be that uh, maybe I need a little bit better cable, but trying to run at that speed is sending a whole bunch of data all at once. And two, we'll see if the uh, data connection holds. I could probably have done this at a lower power setting and done just fine with it. So there it is, and as you can see, it turned out pretty good. Okay, I've never tried anything at this speed before, but we're just going to see if it'll do it. Uh, it says it'll engra uh, engrave it up to 36,000 millimeters per minute, so that's what I set it at. Let's see what it does. Okay, so there it is, and by golly, it did it. So now, just to satisfy my own curiosity, I'm going to get this set up to uh, exceed what Longer says it can do in speed. I'm going to give it a run here at 40,000 millimeters per minute. Well, by golly, it did it. Of course, the line's a little lighter because of the higher speed. And it looks pretty good. So, experimenting a little bit here with uh, some black acrylic. This two millimeter black acrylic on, on here right now. Normally, I do all my acrylic cutting on uh, my CO2 laser. But I have a project coming up where I, my CO2 laser is not big enough. What's in here is uh, eighth inch black acrylic. And even that won't fit on here, I need a longer laser. And by longer laser, I don't mean the brand name longer, I mean longer. So I'll have to use one of my extender format lasers for that. I think it'd be nice to use this 40 watt head, but I would need to get the extension kit for this to be able to do that. I'm making a uh, custom dash panel for one of my boats. I'm cutting here at uh, 500 millimeters per minute at 100% power. And this is uh, my fourth try here to do this. I kept trying to do it at faster speeds. So I wasn't quite getting a complete cut. Yeah, and this time I got it. And it's a nice clean cut too. There's no, uh, no burrs or anything, no, no fuzzies on anything. So looks good. So there's uh, a little bit of the how to change over to a 40 watt head. Obviously it was not difficult at all. It's a very, very simple process. And running a few tests and seeing how this performs, you're seeing it uh, for the first time the same time I did because none of this was uh, pre-done or anything. It's just as it is. So there'll be links in the description on where to get the laser itself, either 30 watt or 40 watt or if you're just upgrading the 40 watt head, or you can get the 40 watt head. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up, always helps the channel. Roger in the shop, thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.